Okay, so we're going to learn about hem laces and how to sew a catch stitch hem, which is a hand sewing technique. But first of all, let's talk about the hem laces. So when you go to the fabric store, you'll see they have two different kinds of hem facings or hem laces as they are referred to. Uh, they come on a little card like this. This one is a one inch wide and this one is two inch wide. And those are basically the only sizes that they come in. Um, they are used for different things. General rule, the shorter the skirt, the wider the lace can be for the hem. Longer skirts, you're gonna wanna use a narrower hem lace on the hem. So I'm gonna stitch this onto my fabric. If I was making a skirt or a pair of pants, um, this would be a great way to finish the, the hem. And uh, first thing we're going to do is just put a regular sewing foot on your machine. Uh, my Husqvarna machine, uh, for most things I use the B foot. And then uh, just a regular straight stitch for this first part. We're going to use a stitch length of 3.0. I'm using some contrasting colors here so you can kind of see how this works. I'm going to overlap the hem lace and the fabric by about a quarter of an inch. And you would do the same technique for either lace. I'm just going to show you using the narrow one. And I'm going to line up the edge of the hem lace with the inside edge of the left part of the presser foot. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch. I'm not pulling or stretching the lace at all, just guiding it with my hands. You can pin it in place if you prefer. Sew right off the edge and cut the threads. So you can uh, cut the end of your lace. Uh, if I was doing this in the round, you would want to overlap the ends, but for this demonstration, we're just going to do it straight. So cut the ends off. Then you'll press up your hem. If it's going to be a one inch hem or two inch hem, uh, whatever your directions call for. And we will put a few pins in here to hold it a bit. So that is the only part of the hemming that's done on the machine with the catch stitch. So now the next part is going to be the hand sewing. And this is where people get um, a little bit confused. So you're going to need a hand sewing needle. They come in different sizes. I'm using a small to medium sized needle. Um, this one's a little bit larger just for the demonstration, a little easier for you to see what I'm doing. I have put my thread through here. Generally, you want to use a thread that matches your project, of course. I'm using a contrasting thread again so you can see it in the video. And you're going to tie a knot at the end, which I'll show you how I do that. Um, I'm just going to put the thread across my finger and hold it with my thumb make it into a loop, and then I'm just rolling this tail of the thread into that loop and push it through with my thumb. And then I hold on to the end and kind of guide that loop as close as I can get it to the end of my thread so it makes a nice knot. You might even want to double knot it, that's fine. Then we can begin sewing. So the catch stitch is sort of working backwards and you're sort of making a zigzag stitch between the hem lace and the garment itself. So I'm gonna start on the garment. I'm going to pick up a small amount of fabric on the garment here. Just a few threads is all you need. I'm going to pull my thread through to the knot. 
Now the next step is to pick up a bit of the lace. And as you can see, I am pulling the lace back a bit with my thumb. I'm going to be catching the back side of the lace because we don't want our stitches to show on the front side. I've seen some people demonstrate this stitch and they show put their stitches on the front side and that kind of defeats the purpose of having the lace there to finish it. So you're going to turn the lace back with your thumb, then you're going to take a few stitches of a few threads of the lace in the same manner. Push that through with your needle and your finger. And that's the stitch. You're going to repeat it between the outside fabric and the lace. Once again, I'll show you again. We're going to pick up a few stitches from the fabric. And then I'm going to pick up a few stitches from the lace. Now the thing about this is you want your stitches to be fairly loose. If you make them too tight, the hem won't have any give to it. And when you move, sit down, stand up, all those things, it will break the hem. So that the beauty of this stitch is that it's a little bit loose, has a little bit of give to it but not super tight. So keep that in mind when you're doing your stitches back and forth. I'm making my stitches about a quarter inch apart, half inch apart, um, I'd say would be the max. And you're just gonna go back and forth between the two things, like so. Oh, and you don't want to get tangles in your thread. There we go. So now let's just take a look at the right side of the garment so we can see what that's going to look like. You should just see a few tiny bits of thread on the right side of the garment. Um, very small amount. If you have thread that's matching your fabric, you won't even know that they're there it will blend in completely and be an invisible hem on the right side. And that's all there is to it. Do a nice pressing and you should be good to go. And that's how you do a catch stitch.